Hey, Reggie, thanks for doing this. Um, I wanted to ask you, you were thrown into this team, you know, midway through the season in February. Right. You had, you know, eight, nine games to play with, with your teammates. What have you been able to learn uh, about the Clippers offensive system over the past few months and, and just kind of having that time to talk with Doc, talk with different coaches um, and, and really learn the playbook and, and kind of learn more about the team, even if you guys weren't playing together? Uh, one of the biggest things I learned, um, I guess, offensively from this team is obviously we just want to get a lot of stops, get up and down the court, and try to use our athleticism, um, try to use all these wings that we have, slashing wings, talented wings, guards, and um, use our bigs to really score. Um, offensively, the league is kind of a copycat league, so a lot of guys run very similar offenses. Um, just the play calls are different. And the best thing about being here is, honestly, Doc is a uh, player's coach. He's played. He understands. Um, the simpler it is you can keep it for guys, the, the more that they can use their talents. So we have very simple play calls. Um, if you know anything about basketball, I think anybody would know what we're doing, but it's more so he puts it on our players to go out there and be unstoppable. So that's that's been the best thing about being here so far. Thanks, Jovan. Our next question is from Tomer. Go ahead, Tomer. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, Reggie, first of all, what was the hiatus like for you in terms of keeping in shape? And then also, you, you got to L.A. probably late February, and then less than a month, you know, the NBA gets, gets put on pause. So what was the hiatus like for you, uh, just in terms of getting used to L.A. and getting used to staying in shape as well? Um, the hiatus for me is, is something that I, I guess I'm used to, being a military kid, moved my whole life, um, bounce around every three years. So, you know, where you stay is where you stay, kind of. Um, was in a hotel. That was a little I said, different, just being there for four months and not having, I guess, the regulatory of going outside necessarily and going to work. I think that was hard for everybody. But for myself, um, I found ways to stay continually working. Um, great staff here, sending over workouts, um, Zoom calls, Zoom workouts, um, finding trails to, to be able to run, ones that were open, um, hills, uh, getting a bike. So just, just finding ways and... Being in LA, I think uh, the terrain, a bunch of flat land, a um, bunch of mountains, just sand, has a, has a, its variety. So it allows for guys, I think anybody that was in LA with the weather, with like I said, the terrain and everything out there, um, it was probably easier for us to train more than a lot of guys in other cities. So I'm um, just blessed. All right, thank you. Next is uh, Andrew Greif from the LA Times. Hey, Reggie, um, if you were in a hotel for four months, I guess, can you walk us through like your your ability to play basketball or train with a basketball, dribble, shoot during the during the hiatus? Um, fortunately enough, the hotel I was in, um, nobody was allowed to be on the floors under me. So I found myself dribbling at times, um, knowing when I didn't have other people occupying rooms near me. Um, shooting was difficult. But fortunately enough, I'm not going to have a teammate, Paul George, who had a second home in uh, L.A. that currently he's just not at. So I would, I would bother him about going up there and just being able to, at times, shoot um, on the outside court. So that was kind of my way of working on basketball. It's not, of course, regulation or anything, but um, just to keep my sanity. You know, those have been kind of my workouts. I keep the ball with me at all times. So I haven't necessarily been in a gym gym as much as I want. Um, I had a few opportunities to get in here and there um, by knowing some contacts and having gym availability. But it's mostly just been um, playing the mental game, watching a bunch of film, and uh, just keeping a ball on me and doing things very similar to that I did as a kid. Uh, thank you. Uh, Ohm, Ohm, you're up. Hey, Reggie, good to see you again. Um, I was wondering, uh, you were still new to this team when the pandemic hit, and you obviously know PG really well. but you're still getting to know your teammates. Uh, how did the pandemic affect your ability to kind of still develop a bond with the guys on this team that were pretty tight knit? And also, what's the craziest thing you or you what you've seen your teammates bring to Orlando? Bring? Um, I think we all kind of, well, the thing about, I guess, first part of the question, um, during this break and guys kind of splitting up, I thought it would be difficult in terms of getting to know guys. Um, didn't make a little bit. You can't do the dinners. You can't necessarily hang out as much. But the one thing I've noticed about coming over here to this team, they're very great, is somebody is throwing a hello text or it doesn't matter, something goofy in chat. Um, 
it's always an icebreaker, always a conversation starter. Guys find a way to stay in contact daily, um, whether it be talking trash, whether just be checking up on guys. Um, it's been fun. So getting to know the guys through that, getting to kind of see what everybody's been doing. They've been more themselves since we haven't had basketball, whether it be playing games, whether guys are um, driving their cars that they like, um, playing with their kids. They've been sending over videos. So we've been getting to delve into each other's lives that way a little bit. And what was the second part of the question again, unfortunately? Oh, sorry. He's gone. I apologize, Reggie. Uh, we'll move on to uh, – oh, hold on. Let me, let me see if I can get Ohm back here. Hold on, Ohm. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Reggie, the second part of the question was, what's the craziest thing you or one of your teammates brought with you to Orlando? Oh, man. I mean, everybody's been bringing their game systems. Everybody's been bringing snacks and trying to figure things out. But uh, – I think Trez is one of the, the biggest forward thinkers. Um, he brought a portable sauna, which is the coolest thing. <laughs> so got to see that. And then uh, I'm not gonna lie, Lou brought his uh, studio. So um, hopefully after this championship run, he'll he'll drop an EP talking about this whole experience here at Disney. All right, Reggie, we got time for one more question. We've got Miriam. Hey, Reggie. Hey, real quick. You're being on meditation, right? I'm wondering how that might help in this situation that you're in, like life inside a bubble. And obviously, also the last few months for you, too. Um, I think my meditation has been one of the biggest factors just in life. And my game is um, meditation, I think, helps you practice acceptance. And the biggest thing is um, you control what you can control, the things that are coming at your way. Um, deal with them the way you can and make the most of it. So I've just accepted that um, when the pandemic hit, that um, I truly wanted to go back to my house in Detroit where I felt like I had a bunch of uh, training equipment. I, I could have called in my chef and everything, but the best thing for me was to stay in Los Angeles and train to the best of my ability, try to stay ready mentally and um, to be ready for the call if we were to come back. So I, I've accepted that. And now I'm not gonna lie, I don't think anybody really likes these circumstances or loving it, but um, I've accepted it. I, I have to be here. I have to go undergo everything that everybody else does to do something that I love to do, which is play this game of basketball. Um, I'm enjoying that. And like I said, when I accepted that, um, it, it makes it easier. We all have to do, do things that we don't like in life um, to do the things that we do like. So when I look at it like that, it's easier. Thanks so much, Reggie. Have a good practice, man. Appreciate you. I have a good one. We'll have Doc Rivers next. Please raise your hand in the chat if you have a question for Doc. Uh, 